Hi guys and welcome to another WordPress Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Divi in itself is a fantastic theme. It just keeps getting better and better. I've designed so many sites with it over the years. It's just crazy. Um, and if you're building any sort of WordPress site at all, I do suggest you take a look at it. You can take it for a test drive from my affiliate link below this video. Today, we're going to be using a free plugin. And the plugin's called Divi Supreme Modules. And if you go to your dashboard, to your plugins, just simply hit Add New and put the word Supreme. In there and hit enter it'll come up right there Divi Supreme modules and like I say it's free mine's already active because I've got it installed on this site but that's the plugin we'll be using for this video today okay in this video today we're gonna create this interesting skewed image gallery it's got light box effect and it's got these skewed images kind of makes it a little bit interesting a little new take on a standard gallery there really easy to do so let's go ahead and get that done i'm going to enable the visual builder again we'll do this all on the front end today and once it's enabled I'm just going to create a new section little blue button new section regular And I'll do the same as I did above. I'll do four columns. And if we scroll down to our Supreme modules here, just going to select the Supreme image module, add an image. I'll do them back to front this time. As you can see, there's an image, looks fairly standard there link just going to check that open in lightbox that's if you want to open it in lightbox of course you can link it to any other url you want and here's the new feature the transform and rotation uh, perspective i'm just going to leave that as is rotate y is the one that i'm going to work with here let's do the opposite let's have a look see something like that Rotate X. Work it that way. I'm going to sort of mirror what we've got going on above, perhaps. Something like that. There we go. And with the ones above, when you've got, I've noticed the filter doesn't take effect when we're actually in the builder, but it will when we're out of the builder. So I'm going to go over to the design tab. I'm going to go down to filters. And I'm going to check the little arrow right there, which will give us an option on hover. So we've got a default option and a hover option. The default, I'm going to take the saturation all the way down to zero. So it's black and white, basically. And the hover should remain at 100%. Of course, whatever you want it to be. Um, and you play with your hues and brightness and contrast, have it exactly how you want it. So there's our first one done. It's pretty easy to do. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the advanced tab, transition time. I'm going to just increase that slightly to 500 milliseconds. I don't want to delay. And I'm going to say ease in, ease out, because ease in, ease out, it'll give it a bit of a curve in and a curve out on the actual transition itself. So let's just save that and see what we've got. Then we'll quickly do the others. Okay, let's save. Let's exit our visual builder and just check it out.
There it is, as you can see, it's black and white. We hover over it. It's colored again. I've obviously done something wrong because it should go back to the default there. Let's see if the light box is going to work. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's go back and correct, correct that. Then we can simply just copy the module and adjust as needed as we go along. Go down the transition and rotation. Okay, of course, I didn't select the hover. So if we go select the little arrow, default, that's what we want. Hover, I want that to be zero. Simply type in a zero, it'll put the degree in for you. Same with the X. And same with the Z or Z, however you like to say it. Good. So I'm pretty sure that's correct now. So I'm not going to exit the builder. I'm just going to go ahead, copy this module. Two little boxes right there. And slide it up to where I want it, which is right there. And rotate it the way that I want it rotated this. Move this so I can see what's going on there. Something like that. Of course, you do yours exactly how you want it. Something like that. And ooh, let's go the other way. Whoop. Something like that. Just need to change the image. All the effects will remain the same. Hit the little trash can icon. And upload a different one. I'm just doing this pretty randomly. Save that. Let's move on to the next one. Again, copy. Grab the little cross or X icon or whatever you want to call it there. And put it where we want it, right there. Again, hit the little cog to edit. Go down. Let's move this across so we can see what we're doing. Something like that. There we go, something like that. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. Change that image. Trash can. Hit the plus sign to add the new image. And clone. Move. Cog. Change the image first thing as we're here. Trash can. I don't know what I've got left, that one. Not far from what we want, actually. Transform and rotation. Yeah, a little bit more like that. Go. There we are. Save that. Give our section a background. So we go up to the section cog over here. Give it the same one as above. There we go. Save that. Click the little purple button at the bottom. Save our changes. When it's saved, let's exit the visual builder. Go down and see what we got. There we go. Got an interesting little gallery there with black and white pictures when you're 
in the default state. When you hover over them, 500 milliseconds later, it'll turn it into the color image. And then when you click on them, it'll open it in a light box for you. So that's a little different take on a gallery, which is good. Of course, you could add another little row in between here and put some text or a spacer or something like that. Another great little feature from the Supreme model. So there you have it. Using the Divi Supreme modules plugin. It's free, so why not use it? I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free courses down there. We've also got some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do take a look. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.